Okay, so earlier I did a post on using SEO Ultimate WordPress SEO plugin. And I did mention that the title rewriter functionality exceeds that of the all in one SEO pack, which you may be familiar with. But much like the all in one SEO pack, SEO Ultimate allows you to fine tune the output of various metrics for the blog homepage, the page title, the category title, archive title month, year, etc. But one, one thing that it does allow you to do <clears throat> that's a little different is something that's called the mass title rewriter. We're going to basically take a look at the reason why it's important to have proper naming conventions for your, your particular web page <clears throat> because rankings are by the page. So if we were to take this example of the keyword internet, you'll see that it's a very competitive keyword. We're talking about 1.4 billion competing pages that are actually sort of fighting for this phrase. And here we see Wikipedia <clears throat> at the very top of the search result for this page. But I notice it's not the Wikipedia homepage. It's a subdomain, but it's actually the, the page that is specific to the query. And if you look at this, the reason why this is important is that there's a trifecta that they're creating, or a trinity of, of metrics. The title tag using the keyword occurrence, internet, in the first occurrence of the, of the title, saying that this is a prominent location for this phrase. This also, they're mirroring this in the URL structure, or URI, um, but we call it Universal Resource Locator, which is just the, the naming convention itself of the page, and also in the H1 tag. But they didn't stop there. They've taken it one step further, where they've actually built a number of deep links to this page. So what you can do is just sort of providing why it's important to have these metrics together. They have 40,000 inbound links that are occurring from other websites to this page. But they are also using something that's called virtual theming within their own website, where if you look at the links from all of the pages, and I do like to show people this just so they can get an understanding of why it's important. But all of the pages, it's showcasing that there are 91,000 internal links for the keyword internet that are pointing to this page. And so this is called co-occurrence. But it's important. I mean, I'll obviously, <clears throat> this is just the way that they built their content management system. But you can do a lot of the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look for the phrase internet as it occurs contextually in the document. And you'll see that it in fact goes back to the, that page that we were referring to. So what we were looking at here is internal linking. We're looking at the H1 tag, which is the subject of the page, the URL structure, and the title. So if we wanted to recreate that in WordPress, what we could do is, <clears throat> if I, I went to the actual theme, and depending on your theme, you have to look at your page template. But what we like to do is we'll use the permalink title in the WordPress installation as the H1 tag. So that's why whatever you name your post, that essentially will be the H1 tag. So it's already mirroring that level of relevance. Um, and you can find that depending on whatever theme you're using. It's a custom theme we have here, but you definitely want to wrap an H1 tag and stylize the, uh, that in your style sheet so that it's, uh, that becomes your new permalink structure. You can also, within WordPress, you can change the way that your poster displayed. For example, the default is you know SEO design solutions forward slash whatever uh, category you place the blog in in post one, two, three. Now, even though that's great for, you know, just as a default setting, it's not enough to become to create an effective uh, content management system or SEO-friendly parameters. So what we've done is we've instructed the custom structure to rewrite, um, basically by using the custom structure and by using forward slash percentage category percentage forward slash percentage post name percentage forward slash. We are instructing it from this point forward that we would like to the category and name of whatever the post is to. Um, to be the showcased element within the website. So for example, if I were to look at the different posts on the sidebar here, let's just say we go to the SEO resources category. Um, you want to keep in mind that naming conventions are extremely important, but let's just look at this post, which is called uh, Catching SEO Blunders, for example. And you'll now note that that forward slash blog conventions there, the category SEO resources, and then also the H1 tag is mirrored within the, the site architecture. Once again, Catching SEO Blunders is the naming convention, but that's what post name is doing. So it's now saying that we have the, we're doing the exact same thing where we've managed to mirror the title the URL structure and the H1 tag so that, you know, if we were to once again take it to the next step and provide internal links to this particular post, <clears throat> then that would really create the trifecta internally as well as augment that with what we consider off-page ranking factor from links coming into the site or the way that we link from page to page. And so 
you can just see that I mean this is obviously not a competitive phrase but it, this is a great way to promote the the stemming effect so that websites will be, become buoyant and start ranking for various phrases along those lines but going back into the reason why it's important so I've to basically shown you why it's important we've talked about how to recreate the h1 within your theme and the permalink settings so that you create that trifecta but let's just say that you didn't have that and you want to take it a step further so that's where the title rewriter would come into play within the SEO ultimate module within your WordPress installation um, so I'm just waiting for this to populate and you can see that you can control the blog homepage title and whatever you were to place here for example if I want my post title to have the name of the post and then to have uh, another convention of some sort like a, uh, a hyphen with the tagline or something like that I could actually add that here but for the sake of argument you know the settings are already optimal for that regard but you can completely customize these much like all in one SEO pack but the, the real beauty of this is that we have the mass title rewriter which allows you to go in and literally take the old if, if you're not familiar with SEO the titles that you use once again going back to that trifecta are extremely important so you can actually revise your titles by just taking that and typing in another variation so for example tips for using SEO ultimate WordPress plugin let's just say I wanted to call this SEO tips for WordPress um, and, and if, I, if that were the case I would just save that and it would rename that you can do the same thing for your, your uh, pages as well as your categories so that you can actually use categories with uh, using snippets so that you don't create duplicate content within them so there's a lot of things you can do that uh, we'll be covering in greater detail but I just wanted to show you that this is uh, one method that you can implement that it works in tandem with some of the, the, the things that we covered in the, in the recent post that will allow you to uh, take your SEO to the next level nothing uh, too complicated here nothing like rocket science but just it's just literally about making this customary components work together and it's that cohesion of these layered strategies that produce the, the effect of uh, buoyancy in the search engine result pages hope you enjoyed that my name is Jeffrey Smith Thank you for listening.